I caught my wife cheating on me with her co-worker and going for a divorce. Let me start with some background. My wife and I are both 54, male, and female, married 31 years. She is an RN at a hospital. I have worked for a home builder since I was 18. We have two children both grown out of the house in their 20s. We decided in our mid-40s to pursue my wife's dream of running a bed and breakfast. We've been looking on and off for years. We came across a piece of property of five acres and a home built in the 1870s. Original owners were large landowners in this area. They had an extensive agricultural business empire. Over the decades, fewer of the family wanted to stay in farming. Parcels of land were sold off. Our town is going through growing spurts as it has become quite touristy because of some, let's say, natural formations and beauty. The farmland along the main highways is being gobbled up. The house and land we purchased is away from the highways. Since we bought it, my wife and I are redoing the entire house. There has been neglect and some basic maintenance, and we want to restore the house to its prominence a 150 years ago. Along with making a living. My wife has been in charge of decorating rooms as I finish along with paying for the mortgage. I am renovating room by room, paying for all material and any professional help if needed. I am pretty handy, so most of the work is done by me. The last few years, the housing industry has gone through the roof. We would work eight days a week if we could. I was pulling in big money until last year. The pandemic knocked us out of work for a while. In 2020, then the material shortages started. Of course, my wife was on the front lines for the last 18 months. Last year, she worked weeks at the hospital without days off. The medical staff stayed at the hospital. They had rooms several slept in together. To say the least, the staff got very close. They worked four weeks on two weeks off. Starting in March last year into the fall, then again, after Thanksgiving. My wife has always, after the kids roller, worked for others if they asked. She watched these young parents crime because they could not see their families. So on their off times, she would give up her time off and offer it to the staff that really needed it. There were others that did this too. The whole COVID experience changed her. Watching people put on ventilators to deaths, etc. She was not the same person. She was distant. Our sex life went to zero. I attributed it to either her experiences or her age. I tried talking about it, but was told she just didn't feel it anymore. We still worked closely on the house. We planned trips to an area in our state that had a large Amish population. The Amish here are known for their craftsmanship, and were working in sewing. We bought several pieces of furniture for the bedrooms, along with handmade quilts. This past weekend, we were planning on taking a three-day trip to this area to buy dining room furniture. I also pay in trade with some wood that I get when I take down an old barn, which I do as a side gig. Barn wood is very much in demand. My boss calls me and tells me everyone is working the whole week as he was able to get wood and shingles for a house we have been sitting on waiting for supplies. I told the wife we could go on Saturday Sunday, on Friday morning. She tells me she is still going with some workers because there is a fall festival going on. I went to a local bar that night. One of her co-workers came up to say hello. I asked if she was going on the trip. She knew nothing about it. So I texted the wife asking if she made it okay and asked who was all there with her. She texted back that this friend, her other close friend, and a friend called Stevie. I had heard this name the last few months, until then. I always thought they were a female. I asked her friend at the bar if she knew Stevie. She said no, but there is a Stephen that works with them. The wife gets back Sunday afternoon. She has bags of tablecloths, napkins, kitchen towels, etc. She was showing me what she bought. In one bag, there was a smaller bag. She pulled it out, looked in it and said, not this bag. It's not for us. I let it go. Later, I looked in the bag. She had hidden it in a closet. It was decorations for a man cave for a college team. I don't follow in sports, so it wasn't for me. I asked to talk with her. I asked again who all went. She gave the same three people. 
I just asked who Stevie was because we had not met. She told me a woman they work with. I pulled out the man cave stuff and told her I talked to her friend, who was supposed to be away last weekend, but her plans blew up. Then I asked who Stevie was again. She started crying and told me who he was, and yes, they were by themselves. They had sex. They have been since last year during their hospital lockdown. So now she is living in one of the finished bedrooms. I have our bedroom I will talk to a lawyer on Monday. I have no idea what to do about the house, the business, the marriage. To me, she was sorry she was caught, but not for the affair. I asked her if she would break it off with Stevie. She was not sure. And now for some reactions, Titaran says, sell the business to divide assets appropriately through mediation or lawyer, definitely divorce, and here's why. She is not sorry. Seems to have no regret other than getting caught. Second, she is unsure whether she can or wants to stop the affair. In cases like this, don't put your life at mercy of her uncertainty. Make that decision for yourself. Lastly, for someone to do this after 31 years is absolutely immoral. Bad enough when it is early in marriage, but after building a life together, be selfish. Look out for yourself from here on out. Next up, competitive rip 6498. Sorry to hear this happen to you. Get yourself some therapy because it's gonna be a bumpy road. Get divorce talks going and set yourself up for stability. Wish I could say something about the business, but that's beyond my expertise. It'll be hard, but you'll come out stronger than you were. You deserve better than her. I hope you find someone new once you have come out on the other side. Next comments from OK Replacement 7697. If she does not want to cut with the affair partner, it is because she is sorry that you caught her and not the matter. What do your children think of all this? Has she told you if she wants to stay with you or not? Since she found out how she been acting, she accepts the blame and realizes how much damage she did to you. She does not stay in that marriage, and she stops giving him support in her things. I was lying to you for a whole year. When you tried to support her, she refused and decided to lean on someone else. You don't deserve to go through all this. I hope you keep updating lastly, stone cold advice. It's always nurses. I've written a number of places that cheating is very common among nurses. Dude, I'm so sorry. You must be gutted. I'll never understand how some people can carry on affairs, completely betraying those they say they love. 31 years, man, normally, I would tell you a lever, and I still think you should. But that's a long time. I'm just about at 20 years, married, and you have another 11 years on me. Only you know if you should leave or stay, but you know that your marriage will never be the same. She killed it. She stabbed your marriage in everything you built together in the heart. She did it with malice and actively lied to you all the time. 31 years is no joke, but she murdered your heart and soul. I would leave, but that's just me. Good luck, man, and reach out to me if you need. Update. It's been a hectic couple of weeks. Along with my work inside gigs picking up, the wife and I were paddling. I saw a lawyer. After I explained everything, he suggested we try to work it out before he gets involved. The house is still not a business and cannot be sold as such. We would have to sell it as a house unfinished, which would lower the price. We have sunk well over a $100,000 into the house plus the mortgage. The lawyer will have to consult with a real estate attorney and maybe one dealing with businesses. So their fees are going to be high. So I try to approach the wife to see if we could talk. I don't know if she is embarrassed about being caught, but she has dug in her heels. She told me to leave the house. I told her I have no plans to do that. Then she countered with my giving up the master suite and me moving to one of the bedrooms. I again tell her I don't plan on it either. She then says she is off the next couple of days and will move all my stuff out and put it in the foyer for me to decide where I'm going to stay. So I ended the conversation. I went out where my supplies were stored and grabbed a new door lock with the push button keypad. I was going to install it on the bedroom doors once we had guests. We can change the combination after each guest. I installed it on the master suite door. 
The next day, I went to work. When I came home after a day of angry messages for putting the lock on, she was livid. How dare you lock me out of my bedroom? Was her war cry. After back and forth, I asked if we could please talk. She finally agreed. Later that evening, we sat down. I told her I was very hurt to find out of the affair and that I wish she would have told me she was not happy. She did not say anything. So I continued with that as far as I'm concerned. The marriage is over. She just nodded her head. I then told her I have been to an attorney, and it's caught her by surprise by her look. I explained what the attorney said that it would be best if we could come to some agreement on what to do. Our largest asset is the house and to sell it, we would take a huge loss. She just smiled and said, I can prove that I have paid the mortgage, so the house is mine. I shook my head no. My attorney explained the house is a marital asset, both names on the mortgage, and then pulled out a couple of binders. I have every receipt that I have spent filed by room on what has been spent. I started this just out of curiosity and just kept going as we finished rooms. I can prove I spent thousands of my money in refurbishing the house. She was caught off guard by the receipts. She has not been to an attorney. I proposed that we live peacefully together and finish the house. We can then set the B&B &B up. She could buy me out of the business at that time. She dug her heels in again. No. I need to leave. If not, she has plans to move Stephen, Steve in. This hurt like a biatch I got up and got a glass of water to collect my thoughts. When I came back to the table, I told her if I see him in the house or on the property, I would start disassembling everything that has been done. Every nail and every screw I put in, I would take out. Every light and plumbing picture would be taken down. I said I would not destroy them because I own them. I would replace them with any old piece of salvage material I could find. I said, think about it. Consult with whoever is giving you dime store advice. Let me know. Yesterday, she came to me. We had not talked in several days. She asked if we could talk again. She had talked with our kids. I had called each and told them what was going on. Our daughter suggested to her that we stay in the house until completion. She started the business as I suggested. Then maybe I could move out, but still own 50%. Mom could run the business, bringing in an employer too, to help run the place. Do yard work, give mom a day off. I told her I would think about it, but my stance on Stephen will not change. So I have another appointment with an attorney. The big issue is we probably will not be in business until 2023. Plus, we need to come up with a room for one of us to live in. The room I am in is part of the rooms to rent. Time for some more comments. Insane Ike 22 says, you were going at this the wrong way. Stevie most likely thinks he has hit the jackpot with her getting the house. They are going to set you up and then get you mad enough to make threats and then get a restraining order. Next step will wear you down so you give them the house for nothing. Turn the tables on lover boy. Tell your wife to ask Stevie to buy out your half and they can run the business. Tell your wife. You just want to get on with your life. Put the pressure on Stevie to take the responsibility of your wife on his shoulders and let him be burdened with her love fantasy with him. Turn your wife into Stevie, whereas he puts up his money. Nothing kills a love affair than putting your money where your mouth is. Admirable Ad 801 says, This is where you cut your losses. This woman is vile. She has been using you to build her dream servicing Steed's needs sell the houses is and get out. She was planning your demise. What a wasted marriage. Report her to HR as well as lover boy. How are two out of work people going to run a B&B &B without technology and an income? You have been over for her for so long. You tried. All she has is this utter cool attitude. The house is hers and you must be out. No, it's time. Draw up divorce. Sell her and Stevie's dream and take what you get out of this loveless abused and used marriage and walk. Fifty-something is still young. Do not waste a moment. File. Do not leave the marital home. If she moves Stevie in, interdict him. I would also sue his backside for breaking up your marital bond. Watch three years down the road after Stevie pumped and dumped her. 
she will say she is sorry, but now she really is out to hurt you. Just continue with divorce. You will end on your feet. She will lose everything.